Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families, responding along with you. We begin with our opening responses. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. among us God give us life let your people rejoice in you give us again the joy of your help with your spirit of freedom sustain us God make our hearts clean restore us in body mind and spirit let us pray And now we have our prayer of confession. At this time of growing hope for the world, we acknowledge that we are always in need of your grace, your wisdom and strength. And trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. 
before God with the people of God. We confess to turning away from God in the ways we want our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have the response of faith. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. God is good to the good upright, to, the upright to, to those who are pure in heart. My feet were close to slipping. I almost lost my balance. I had started to envy the arrogant when I saw how the wicked flourish. They seem to avoid suffering. Their bodies are healthy and sleek. Trouble appears to bypass them. Their lives are free of affliction. They talk with menace and malice, breathing down people's necks. They slander the kingdom of heaven with tongues never silent on earth. Many are taken in by them, believing they do nothing wrong. They say, does God really care? Perhaps the Most High doesn't know. Have I kept myself pure for nothing, washing my hands in innocence? For every new morning brings trouble, and day after day I am punished. Had I thought to do as they do, I would have betrayed my people. So I tried to make sense of this mess but found it too difficult for me. Once I entered God's sanctuary, then I began to understand. In a moment they will be destroyed on the slippery slope to ruin. My God, I am always with you. You take me by the right hand. Your wisdom continues to guide me and you will receive me in glory. Because you remember me in heaven, there is nothing I need upon earth. Though flesh and spirit may fail, God is my strength forever. God, God is, is good, good to, to the, the upright, upright to, those to those who are pure, who are pure in, in heart. heart. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the New Revised Standard Version, Anglicised, and we're reading from Mark chapter 8, verses 22 to 26. They came to Bethsaida. Some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. 
And when he had put saliva on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? And the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he looked intently, and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then he sent him away to his home, saying, Do not even go into the village. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. We will take what you offer, we will live by your word, we will love one another and be led by you, Lord. We will take what you offer, we will live by your word, we will love one another and be led by you, Lord. We will take what you offer, we will live For the reservoirs that drowned people's homes, forgive us, Lord. For wasting water without thought, forgive us, Lord. For the many who still have only dirty water to drink, forgive us, Lord. For forgetting that water is a gift, forgive us, Lord. Bless those who still have to carry water to their home. Today and every day, may we treasure each drop. Amen. On the 23rd day, we pray for the renewal of community and the well-being of our own local communities. In these countries, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. We pray for members belonging to the family group of Pemswele, Sheila Dodd and Alex, Liz Dowler and Tolly Peelan, Cassandra Hose, Malcolm King and Werner Webeth, Joy Mead and Ian, Alison Salisbury and Roger. On the 23rd day of this month, we pray for associate members 
and England Northwest, Northwest England. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. Ever-present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one.